Good evening, everyone. My name is Mike, and I'm a student engagement coordinator here at Lansing Community College. The purpose of tonight's live stream is to go over the admissions process, um, talk about what we have happening on uh, the LCC uh, webpage, walk you through admission steps, um, but also make sure we're here to answer any questions you might have about what's happening with classes and um, everything that's been going on, um, but also to give you a lot of relevant information um, related to uh, this fall semester and how things are gonna work and what things are gonna look like for you um, as a student um, or as potentially a um, transfer student, parent, whoever it might be um, involved in this, uh, in this process. So um, just to give you a little update, campus is still currently closed, um, as is a lot of things around town and things that you see. Um, we are working very hard behind the scenes to make sure that things are ready for our fall semester. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things happening and we're still able to provide services to students um, in the virtual environment. So um, our current fall semester uh, coursework is gonna look to begin on August 20th. Uh, and there is still plenty of time for students to register for classes that begin August 20th, um, whether you are a returning student or whether you are someone who is just interested in attending LCC for the first time um, or a transfer student, um, possibly a dually enrolled high school student, um, there is still plenty of opportunity for you to start classes that are gonna begin August 20th. Um, myself and the other members of the student engagement team will be having these live sessions weekly uh, we will also be pulling in special guests from around the college. Um, we do have a uh, session lined up with the financial aid advisor where we will solely be discussing the financial aid process um, and the cost process of attending Lansing Community College and how financial aid works and um, digging into things like our foundation scholarship program, applying for your financial aid and making sure you're using the right financial aid um, throughout your time at LCC. Uh, we are going to have a guest from Health and Human Services come on uh, in the future to talk to you about our um, robust health careers programs that we have, um, some of our uh, specialized admissions programs. Uh, we'll talk nursing, we'll talk dental hygiene, we'll talk massage therapy, we'll talk um, anything related to the health field, and you'll be able to answer, uh, or excuse me, ask questions and get those answers in real time um, from a specialist within that division. Um, we have a guest from our Technical Careers Division, which is out at our West Campus facility, um, kind of over on the uh, west side of Lansing near the Lansing Mall area. Uh, and she will be able to talk about how we are using the fall semester for uh, coursework in our Technical Careers Divisions um, and talk more about um, what those specific programs are um, and how the uh, changes in the world around us have affected uh, those coffee course offerings for the fall semester. So um, if you're watching this and you have questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, if I don't know the answer on the spot, I will absolutely follow up with you and make sure you get those answers so you can comment here on Facebook um, or at the end, we'll be able to share uh, contact information um, for uh, the engagement team, myself, my colleagues, um, and get you squared away um, with uh, who you need to speak with to make sure you get your questions answered. So. Um, we have a couple questions that have already been submitted, so I'm just going to read those and then give those answers. <clears throat> uh, the first one is, I'm an adult looking at a career change because of COVID. How can LCC help me? Um, whether you're an adult or whether you are a uh, high school student, a middle school student, um, no matter who you are, LCC has opportunities for you, and we want you to know that. Um, you may be someone who has always considered yourself to be a great um, doctor, or you know you would be a great lawyer. Um, and we are a great place for you to come and explore what those possibilities can be, um, to start your college coursework with us um, and get you on the, the path to the place that you wanna go. Um, the highest degree you can earn at Lansing Community College is an associate's degree, um, but does that, that does not prevent you from going on anywhere to receive your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, your JD, your PhD, your MD, and so on. Um, so you can really use that to go anywhere. Um, we have an adult resource center on campus. Um, it's a department that specializes working with adults who are transitioning back to the college environment, whether it's from um, a employment uh, situation or someone who maybe 
uh, just attended college 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago and never finished and is now interested in coming back. Um, so we definitely have resources for you um, that can help you here on campus, um, no matter who you are. Um, another question that came in um, was about um, courses for the fall semester and how are they going to work? Um, the question was, will fall classes be com held completely online? Um, the answer to that is primarily yes, um, and they'll be held in two different formats online. Um, the online courses, which will com be comprised of approximately 90% of our overall classes, um, some being in the health and human services field and some being in the technical careers division field will still um, be held uh, in the in-person formats, um, labs and things like that, that have to happen. Um, but there's two different types of online classes. There's online and there's online real time. An online class is a class that you just go on um, and when your course information is uploaded, you have um, the whole course shell in uh, our platform called Desire to Learn. Uh, you'll see D2L when you log into your LCC account. Uh, you go into D2L, you see what you have to do, you do it. Um, the other type of online course is online real time where it will still be an online course, but you may see in your schedule that you have class from Monday and Wednesday from one to one, or excuse me, from one to 2.50 or from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, or you may see that you have lectures on uh, Thursdays from six to 8 p.m., things like that. Um, those are online courses and those are online courses that are gonna have specific online real-time components like this is where you'll be online um, with your class, with your instructor, um, perhaps in a small group, perhaps in the whole group, um, and you will be required to be online at a specific time, just as you would be required to be in person at a specific time um, for those classes. So obviously we have to pay close attention to what's going on in the world around us. Um, and there are certain orders um, that may or may not be passed on um, that will determine how we can get back on campus or if we can. Um, so we'll pay uh, close attention to that, but we also have a really in-depth web page that is lcc.edu slash coronavirus. And you can find a lot of information there related to um, when our staff gonna be allowed back on campus, when our students gonna be allowed back on campus, um, what LCC is doing to make sure that our students and our visitors and our faculty um, are great or are um, prepared to be back on campus. Um, how are you gonna be allowed to be on campus? Things like that. Um, I know a lot of people um, are not big fans of these, but we all are gonna have these masks on on campus. Um, and we're just doing that so that we make sure everything or everyone around us is safe and healthy. Um, and we wanna provide the best opportunity for people that we can um, to be back on campus. Um, looking here. Another question that came in was for someone who says, I can't log into my LCC account, what should I do? Um, if you've applied and you aren't sure where else to go, um, if you don't know how to access your My LCC page, or perhaps you wrote down the wrong password, or you changed your password and you don't know how to make that, uh, or uh, what you changed it to, you can call our IT help desk and their phone number is 517-483-5221. They'll ask you your name, uh, maybe your username to verify your address, um, personal information, things like that, and they'll make sure you get your password reset so that you're able to uh, get back on and get into your My LCC account at any time. Uh, one thing I'm going to try to do here, uh, assuming I don't have any technology issue, is show you I had a how do I apply to LCC question. So I'm going to pop in here and show you how I can do that. If I can figure it out on my screen here, let's see. Share screen, desktop one, share. Please be patient with us, we're new to this here. So I'm gonna pull up a web browser. Um, if you use Google, Chrome, if you use Safari, whatever you use, go for it. And I'm gonna to go to www.lcc.edu. And here you'll see our LCC homepage. Um, Dr. Steve Robinson, our new president. There's a nice welcome from him on the page here. 
Um, you can scroll around and look at different things here like academic information and admissions and campus life and things like that. Um, what we're going to do uh, for the application process is you'll see these little buttons on the side here, get started, info, visit, and apply. Um, I'll start with the get started page because it gives a really good overview of not only the application but what else you need to do to get started. Um, this is a wonderful photo of the backside of our Gannon building uh, where I have the mouse here is our nice little um, commons area where we have uh, a couple different food vendors and a lot of seating. A uh, really nice lawn area where students like to go and hang out. Um, you'll see some uh, Q&A questions here. Um, we'll talk a little bit about transfer information in the middle. Um, but down here is where we really want to see uh, you go to help get started. Um, now, depending on where you're coming to LCC from is going to determine where you're going to start here. Um, if you are a first time college student, meaning you are currently a high school student who is looking at applying to colleges for the first time, you are a um, uh, someone who maybe left high school and went on and got a job or just didn't go to college, uh, you can click on that first time college student. Um, if you are a transfer student or a guest student, meaning you currently attend another institution uh, and you just want to transfer to us to maybe take a one semester course as a guest, um, or you want to fully transfer into LCC, meaning perhaps you went to another institution last year um, or the year before and it just didn't work out for whatever reason and now you are interested in uh, attending LCC to finish your uh, degree, you can start in this transfer and guest application area here. Um, if you are active or former military, uh, you can apply on this veteran link. Um, we have an Office of Vil Military and Veteran Affairs Services um, on our downtown campus, um, and they can virtually help students with um, the different aspects of um, using military benefits and things of that nature here on campus. Um, and then the last two, if you are an international student who is interested in applying, or if you are a current high school or homeschooled student, who is looking to apply to LCC, um, you would click on any one of these. And then what it'll do is walk you through the admission steps. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is apply to the college. Um, if you do not know your social security number, you should have that handy first. Um, that is one of the questions that's on there. Um, and it won't let you move forward until you fill in, um, or it won't, excuse me, it won't let you complete that application until you get on there um, and enter in your social security number. Step two is to activate your account. Um, once you've activated your account, you're essentially creating your password and giving yourself access to log into the My LCC portal, see things online, check your LCC email, um, find out uh, where we have your placement levels at, which I'll talk about a little bit later, things like that. Um, and that gives you all that access there by activating your account online. Um, step three is assessment. So every student that applies to come to Lansing Community College uh, will get admitted um, and will be able to take courses with us, um, but not every student is going to start with the same assessment levels. Um, there's multiple ways that a student can get assessment um, and have their placement scores placed on their account. Um, perhaps the easiest of all would be to submit to us your high school transcript or your SAT or ACT score. Um, or AP test scores, and we can use those to determine um, what uh, for us reading, writing, and math levels would be. And that would, again, determine what course you start uh, with in your first semester of coursework. So maybe you test right into college writing, um, maybe you test into honors writing, or maybe you test into something a little bit below college writing. Um, all of those are available all the time, and those are dependent, again, on your assessment levels. Um, if you don't have a high school transcript, if you don't have SAT, ACT scores, any of that stuff, that's okay. Um, you can also take placement tests with us um, and you can take them online now. Um, it's a reading test, a writing test, and a math test. You can also use any combination of those to obtain your levels. So let's say you send us your SAT score and you get a math level of four. Um, but you took the math test through our placement testing office and you scored a six, you would be get a, given that six. So we would, never loot, uh, we would never lower your score based on a certain um, method of you uh, submitting for that, that score, um, but we would always give you that opportunity to raise your test levels. 
Um, test levels are going to be required for one of our academic advisors to create your map, which is the My Academic Plan. Um, the map will be given to you uh, by an advisor after your, uh, you have completed your online orientation, if that's applicable. Um, and that will guide you in your first semester. So if you submit to us your um, scores, you get your levels, you go in, you complete orientation, you tell us you want to major in biology, and that your plan is to transfer to Michigan State University, um, our academic advising team will work on your map and make sure you get courses that are not only going to count for your biology degree with us, but also are going to be transferable to get you to what that next destination is going to be. Step four is your path. Um, you can take a career uh, interest assessment to um, look at maybe some different fields that you might be interested in that you may have not thought of before or um, never thought your personality or your, um, uh, your career path would take you in that direction and kind of see what doors that might open for you. Step five is orientation. Um, orientation will be uh, sent to you through Desire to Learn. So if you happen to have already applied and you went to log into Desire to Learn and it says that there is no content available um, or you're not authorized for any reason, that just means for some reason we didn't get orientation set up for you and you can let us know and we can go right in and add that to your account so that you're able to take that orientation online. Um, orientation um, will take you a little while. You'll go through some different modules and you'll learn about a lot of different LCC information. Um, you will learn about um, advising and how our academic advisors operate and what they can do for you as a student. Um, you'll learn about success coaching that I'll talk about a little bit later, um, but it'll really give you a lot of good in-depth information um, in place of what would be the traditional in-person orientation on campus. Um, and then our last step after orientation, you get your map, um, you're able to register for classes. So you'll get that map from an advisor and it may say things like uh, Social 120, Bio 120, English 121, and so on. Um, there's a guide built into orientation that shows you step by step how to register for those classes. Um, you're able to go out and do that once you see your map. Once you've registered for classes, um, you'll see information about signing up for the payment plan, paying for your classes, et cetera, um, and how that would work. And that kind of outlines for you what those general steps uh, would be to get you from having an interest in attending LCC um, all the way through applying, getting your assessment level set, um, and then um, ultimately having you registered for classes um, and being a student here. So I'm going to stop the screen here for a second and that should take me back to this, yep. So um, right now, um, I'm just gonna scroll through here for a second and see if I've got any other questions that popped in. I've seen a couple comments pop up here. So give me just a second. <clears throat> Okay, so another question that came in is, the class that I want is full. What are my options now? What should I do? Um, registration has been open for a while now, so we are gonna run into some instances where classes are full. Um, one thing you could do is try to email the professor and see if they would be willing to add you to a specific course. Um, the other thing you can do is add yourself to the wait list. Um, we have a really great system in place for the wait list and that allows students to go out and um, essentially put themselves in line for the next seat available. Uh, so if I am, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm enrolled in a course and um, my colleague Amanda is the next person on the wait list, um, if I drop the course right now, Amanda would get an email within a minute or two that says your seat is open. Um, when that email goes out, a student has 24 hours to respond and go out and register themselves for that class or it moves them on to the next person. Um, myself, members of the STAR Zone, members of the uh, success coaching team, the financial aid advisors, everyone that you run into on campus will tell you the importance of checking your LCC email and making sure you're always checking your email every single day, um, multiple times a day when classes start and you're enrolled in those classes. Um, if for some reason you don't check your email and see that your seat uh, for the wait list has been opened for you, um, unfortunately, that seat will likely move on um, and go to someone else um, who also happens to be on the wait list. So please um, know that the wait lists are possible. 
um, you can always call the star zone uh, kind of towards the end here. I'm going to go over a couple contact points uh, of phone numbers uh, just to reiterate some things we talked about. Um, but you could always call one of our CRS staff in the star zone and they can assist you with step by step how to get on that wait list. Just going to take a look here and see if I got any other questions that pop up. Um, One question was, is financial aid available? Um, what about financial aid? Um, yes, financial aid is available to LCC students. Um, I did mention this earlier, but in the next week, um, I believe it's next Wednesday, we are gonna have a special guest from the financial aid office join us here on this live chat uh, to really go into depth about the financial aid process. Um, it all starts with filing your FAFSA, having that sent to us. Um, and then contacting the financial aid office if things uh, don't seem right or for some reason if um, you know you don't uh, if you maybe think you uh, misinterpreted some data or something on there um, there's always that opportunity to meet individually with a financial aid advisor uh, but I'll leave that to the financial aid experts next week when they talk about um, how you can use that financial aid at LCC and kind of what that means. Um, I kind of knew this question might come. Uh, I have a question about wearing a mask um, and I can't wear one. So what about me if I come to campus? Um, I think I did mention earlier that we have a lcc.edu slash coronavirus page with a lot of great information about what the college is doing and how we're doing it. Uh, and students who have a pre-existing condition um, or um, uh, those who fall under the guidelines of the vulnerable population um, by the CDC. Um, we have an office on campus called the Center for Student Access. Um, you can request an exemption through um, the Center for Student Access. You can email lcc-accessibility at lcc.edu and inquire about how that would go. Um, if you are considered to be high risk um, for illness caused by COVID-19, um, we have a variety of online courses that you can look into um, that would allow you to stay off campus, um, but still be able to get the coursework uh, that's offered by the college on the fall semester moving forward. Looking in here. Someone said, with campus not open, how can someone help me register for classes or fill out my financial aid paperwork um, or just be there to help me walk through some things? Um, if you've been on our campus before, you've seen the wonderful um, area called the Star Zone in the front of the Gannon building where we have a lot of computers out um, and it's kind of an uh, open air environment where students can walk in, check in at a desk, we'll ask a few questions about um, what you need help with, how we can help you today. Um, and then we have a uh, team of CRS members who are able to sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and really uh, dig into what you need. Um, they are still here. They are still working. They are still available virtually. Um, you can call the STAR Zone. The number is 517-483-1200. And when the options pick up, it would be option number two. Um, and you can get on the phone with the CRS um, and really dive into the help that you need in terms of applying to the college, filling out your FAFSA, how do you view certain uh, messages or memos that you may have gotten uh, in your email, things like that. Um, all those services that CRS can provide in person are still be able to be provided online um, uh, or over the phone uh, during this, this time period. Another great question we have here is, what about resources? Uh, what about LCC resources? How can LCC help me if um, campus isn't, hope, isn't open? Um, all students are eligible to use resources on, uh, I was gonna say on campus, but we're not on campus right now. All resources available through LCC. Um, and the two biggest ones that come to mind uh, for me would be counseling and success coaching. So if you need to talk to a counselor, if you have something private, 
um, that you need to talk about if you are um, facing any kind of anxiety or depression, uh, issues like that that are um, likely going around rampant right now in this very uncertain time uh, of COVID that we're all living in, um, you can definitely reach out to a counselor on campus um, and have an appointment um, with a licensed counselor uh, employed by LCC able to help you um, with some of those difficult conversations that perhaps me or one of my colleagues um, just aren't trained to, to have with you as a student. Um, you have the opportunity to work with a success coach on campus. Um, when we are in uh, orientation, when we are hosting uh, campus visits or group visits, um, when myself and my colleagues are out working with high schools or working with other groups, we always say that um, for those students who need a little extra motivation, um, they need someone not named mom or dad or grandma or wife, uh, sister, brother, husband, whoever, um, to be on their side and to really help them uh, through this process, this difficult pro process of obtaining an education. Um, we have success coaches who can meet with you and they can work with you on a variety of topics related to uh, making sure you get all your resources in line uh, for being a student, um, making sure you're aware of all opportunities and programs available to you, um, but also really sitting down with you and helping sure, helping you navigate um, all the different platforms that you're gonna use as a student, like um, D2L and what is Banner and how do you get financial aid um, from your account to actually pay on your account and all those kind of things that um, students go through. Um, and a lot of those conversations that um, students maybe don't wanna have with uh, a family member or a friend or someone they know who's in college. Um, our success team is here. They are all great people and they are willing to help a student um, walk through any one of these processes. Um, students get assigned a success coach um, during the, uh, excuse me, um, students will get assigned a success coach after they've applied to the college um, and that coach will reach out to them. Um, they text with students, they call students um, all the time. Um, they meet with students regularly on campus when we are permitted to and uh, campus is safe to be open again. Um, but a success coach is really someone who can stand by a student's side um, and make sure that they get all the information they need um, and really have someone help them uh, in this journey uh, of uh, receiving an education. I'm gonna open one other thing here just to see if we got any other comments and questions rolling in here that I can, uh, I can try to answer. Um, so this is kind of a general question here, but um, someone asks, why would I wanna attend Lansing Community College? Um, and my answer to that person is, why wouldn't you wanna attend Lansing Community College? Um, we have opportunities for everyone, um, no matter who you are or where you've come from or what your uh, work history or your academic history has been in the past. Um, we have programs that will open you up to a world of opportunities um, you just have to be willing to open your eyes um, to those opportunities and come, um, come check out what LCC can offer you. Um, some students are shocked when they learn that they can come to LCC and they can learn how to fix an airplane um, in our aviation maintenance program down at the Mason Airport. Um, a lot of people didn't even know that existed uh, and we have it um, not far from our main campus at all. Um, if you wanna work in the technical careers, if you wanna be a welder, if you wanna be a um, uh, robotics uh, employee, I don't know what their official term is, sorry. Um, if you wanna learn how to build houses, if you wanna learn how to be um, working in the electrical field, um, if you wanna do any of that kind of stuff, check out West Campus, it's awesome. Um, West Campus is uh, home to our technical career services. Um, and a lot of our programs are out at West. We have a fire academy at West. We have a police academy at West. Um, West Campus has its own gym and fitness center. Um, it's a really awesome place. And there's a lot of great careers for people, um, as well as a lot of certificate programs that students can obtain credentials for 
um, in upwards of a year or so um, and be able to jump right into a, a career field um, based on the education they received here. Um, we have services for everyone. Um, if you need help with um, a course because you don't really understand, um, we have one of the best tutoring programs I've ever seen. Um, we have academic success coaches who will help you with anything you can imagine um, throughout your process of being a student here. Um, the CRS staff out in the star zone is able to help you with anything related to admissions, financial aid, registrar, things like that. Um, we have a lot of people on campus who care about you and your well-being um, and you succeeding while you are a college student. Um, we don't want to see you come to us and just be a college student. We want you to be a successful college student. Um, and we will uh, go above and beyond in our services. Um, we are a place where you can um, enter into a three plus one program um, and attend three years at Lansing Community College, one year at one of our partner universities at the University Center, which is right on the corner of Capitol and Shiawassee, and earn a bachelor's degree from uh, someone like Ferris State University or um, U of M Flint, Siena Heights, Northwood, uh, Central is one of our new partners over there. Um, we have a lot of great transfer programs where you can um, take your coursework at LCC and still earn your bachelor's degree through one of those schools without moving and driving to wherever their location would be. Um, we have programs like the Student Leadership Academy where students can apply um, to be in a cohort-based leadership academy um, for two years as an undergrad student that a lot of universities don't have, period, let alone in their first year or two. Um, and that is offered through our Office of Student Life. Um, we have great facilities. We have a beautiful campus. We have all kinds of different people um, who are willing to help you with almost anything related to you being successful as a student here. Um, so I would challenge you to not ask, why should I attend LCC um, and try to come up with some good reasons why you should not, uh, which you likely won't find. Um, the cost savings is just uh, insurmountable. Um, the courses that you're gonna take at LCC are gonna save you so much money over the lifetime of you getting a bachelor's degree, getting a master's degree, getting a PhD, whatever you choose to follow. Um, and it's the same coursework that you're gonna take at another institution um, at our price. So um, please, please, please check out all the options that we have possible. Um, you will really be amazed uh, at what we can provide you in terms of not only an education um, as an undergrad student, but also as an experience um, of being on a college campus, hopefully uh, soon, and um, being able to be involved in clubs and organizations. And um, if you're an athlete and you wanna try out for one of our sports, um, we have athletic programs. Um, so we really do have a ton of opportunity for you. Uh, throughout a variety of different campus services. Uh, one more question here says, do all students need to take online orientation? Um, and if so, where do I find it? Um, I think I did mention earlier that online orientation is held through desire to learn which is our online learning uh, platform. The same one that you would wear, or the same one that you would use if you were taking classes, uh, is the same one that you would use for orientation. So um, once you uh, get logged in and you've activated your account and you go into D2L, um, if you click on it and it says something like um, you're not authorized, all that means right now is that we don't have any content available in D2L for you, but we can add orientation for you anytime if it's not already there. Uh, you complete your online orientation. We go back to you getting a map, hearing from an advisor, and then going out registering for classes. Um, the students who do not need to take online orientation uh, would be those who transfer in from another institution. If you've successfully completed a semester or um, a multiple semesters of college at another institution, um, we are not going to walk you through the process of being a college student and what that involves. Uh, so you can bypass that online orientation. Um, or if you've ever taken a class through LCC's dual enrollment uh, opportunities, or maybe you took college classes at a career center or something like that, uh, you would not be required to take online orientation. I'm gonna look for one more question here, and then I'm going to, again, walk through 
uh, a couple things on our website and then we'll be uh, wrapping it up for tonight here. Uh, this question came in uh, that says, I don't have a working computer. How am I supposed to take online courses or can I? Um, we have laptops available for students. So um, LCC has, uh, I don't want to throw out a number because I don't want to be way over or way under, but I believe it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 to 350 laptops that were made available um, for students to check out to be able to complete that online coursework at home. Um, so you can go anywhere that you can access internet um, and you'll be able to use one of our computers um, to allow you to take that coursework online. So um, you can definitely pursue that um, if you contact public safety. Um, public safety on campus right now um, is distributing the laptops um, and they should be able to hook you up with a laptop to allow you to um, get through uh, D2L uh, and submit that online coursework that you wanna submit here. Um, I'm gonna... Do the share screen again here. Hopefully it will work well. Yep, so I'm back on um, lcc.edu here. And this is the same page we were looking at earlier. It should be scrolling down to the bottom here. Um, two things you'll find on here, the phone number for the engagement team and the email address. Um, you can call 517-483-1999 or you can email us lcc-engagement at lcc.edu. Um, myself and my three colleagues, uh, Amanda, Blake, and Cassie are all available um, to help walk you through um, this process. You may have run into us at your high school or a college night or a career fair um, or some other event in the community. Um, but we are the four who are often out helping students with that adjustment to getting to LCC and getting started. Um, and then we have a vast array of people who can help you once you become a student um, and uh, work with you throughout your tenure at LCC here. Um, this is us. Um, so this is the four of us. Uh, that's me here and my shorter hair days a little bit. Um, but again, phone number, email address. Um, and the other thing I want to show on the LCC website is anything you want to do is at your fingertips through the search box here. So if you want to go in there and type in placement testing or um, placement levels um, that I talked about earlier and you don't know how to access that, you can definitely go in there and find that information. Um, you can also hover over any one of these here. Um, and you'll see a variety of different things come up at the bottom, um, whether you want to search different course op uh, offerings, degrees and programs that are offered. Um, you may have heard me mention the University Center or different transfer opportunities, but you want to go back to that. Um, please um, let us know how we can help. Um, I, I want to say we would love to see you on campus. Um, and trust me, there's several of us who would really, really like to go back on campus right now. Um, but um, we are also um, more than willing to meet with you virtually. Um, I think all of us have had one-on-one uh, -on -one Zoom, Skype, um, WebEx conferences with students and families to talk about the process and getting going um, and getting started. So um, whatever we can do to help, please let us know. Um, I'll repeat one more time. If you want to email us, um, you can use LCC or excuse me, um, lcc-engagement at star.lcc.edu. Um, or you can go out to that web page that I just showed um, with the engagement team information um, and um, look up myself, look up Blake, Cassie, Amanda, anyone. Um, we really appreciate you listening to us tonight. Um, we hope that throughout um, the next couple of weeks as we do these online sessions, um, you will realize that LCC is uh, a great place for a student to start, to finish, to um, propel themselves into a new world uh, via an education. Um, and we want to be here to be a part of that and help you. Um, I hope everyone out there is staying uh, safe um, and being healthy. 
and wearing a mask and social distancing and doing everything that we are being told to do um, so that hopefully uh, maybe in a few months, maybe in six months, um, we are all able to collectively come back together on campus um, and enjoy that beautiful campus that we have to showcase to students. Um, thank you again for joining us tonight. Um, we hope you all have a wonderful night and please let us know um, how we can help you um, start you on the path to success um, through uh, a journey at Lansing Community College. Thank you.